Okay, for this problem, it should have been set up like this. 37 plus x equals 95. So let's reread the problem. Beach balls have become so popular that the toy store only has 37 left. They hurry and order more. After the truck makes its delivery, they'll have 95 beach balls. How many are in the truck? So again, it's very important to think about what we already know, what the problem wants us to figure out, and then that will help us solve. So we already know that the toy store has 37 beach balls. That's why that went in the beginning. Then it says that they hurry and order more. So they don't actually tell us how many more that they order, do they? No, they just said they hurry and order more. After the truck makes its delivery, delivery they'll have 95. So it sounds like at the end of all this, after they order more, then they will have 95. So again, really picturing it in your mind, thinking about what happens first, what happens in the middle, and then what happens last helps you put the numbers where they need to go. So then we know since they order more, that must be what they need us to figure out is how many they order. So that is why we have 37 plus x equals 95. So again, we want to make sure you understand that this is the equation that you should have written on the previous slide. Then you just worked on showing how you solved it. There, again, are many ways that you could have shown how you solved it. As long as you're showing your thinking and your teacher can see your work and it makes sense to you, then great. That's what we want. We don't just want an answer. If you just have x equals and then you have an answer all by itself, we need to know how your brain is working. So if you didn't do that, please make sure you go backward a slide and actually show your thinking, draw out your work, use a number line, whatever you need to do, because your teachers can see how you solve these. And if you just skip over it, it will be blank for you. So here's how I'm going to solve it. And this is one way you could have solved it. So I realize if I have 37 of something and then we want to figure out how many more got added on and ended up with 95, I can set this up on a number line like this. So if I start with 37 and I'm going to put 95 down here because I know I end with 95. So I want to figure out this part here. What got added on? 237 to get to 95. So I'm going to do that in steps though by using strategies. 37 plus 3, that's a make a 10 strategy because I added 3 and 7 to make another 10 and I got up to 40. Now I see that I want to get all the way up to 95. Well I know that 4 plus 5 is 9 so I know that 40 plus 50 is 90. So I'm going to jump up 50 and get to 90. And then I only have five more to go. And there we go. Now I just need to add together 3 plus 50 plus 5. So 50 plus 3 plus 5. I know 5 and 3 is 8. So 50 plus 8 equals 58. So then my equation would read 37 plus 58 equals 95. So x must equal 58. They had to have ordered 58 more beach balls in order for them to have 95 now total. Another way you could have solved this problem is like this. Finding out the difference between 95 and 37 by subtracting. So if that is how you did it, that is okay also. So I know some students are going to do it like this, which this is also completely accurate. And this works as well. Is they did 95 take away 37 equals x. Now here is the difference. When you do this on a number line, you're still going to start down here with 95 and you're going to go this way to subtract. 
Because remember, on a number line, the larger number should always be on the right-hand side no matter what. Even though it's on the left side over here in our equation, on a number line, it needs to be on the right. So don't forget that. So 95 take away 37. So first, I'm going to take away 30 because that should be easy to do. That's just like three jumps of 10. So 95, 85, 75, 65. So 95 minus 30 is 65. Now I have seven more to take away. So instead of just doing a jump of seven, because 65 minus seven isn't really friendly, first I'm gonna jump back five and get to 60. Then I'm gonna jump back two more because five and two is seven. And now we can see, okay, yes, I did take away 37 from 95. 60 take away two, again, is 58. So then we can see x still equals 58. x is not changing. Notice I got the same answer for how I did it up here and how I did it down here. These are just two different ways that you could solve this problem. Great job, boys and girls. Keep up the good work.